Hello, today we are going to do a video Hi. and you know I want to make videos, my videos productive so uh, I'm going to spend this video just uh, recording um, like uh, working on my my game the book is Epic Journey the book is ah, so first let's come up with a title I was speaking we can always change it later. Dobuki epic, epic story. Dobuki. Okay, let's uh, not spend too much time on the title because it can change later. But I think. Uh, the book is epic, epic quest, epic journey, epic, epic story. Oof, well, epic story. We can change later. Uh, game requirement. Okay. So, you know, like uh, when I make a game, usually. I do not make any design or any requirements or any documentation as a matter of fact I just start coding and go like crazy but this time I wanted to become disciplined about my work on the game so let's do a requirement document so so requirements just requirements we know it's a game okay so we're gonna have uh, some um, some gameplay. How can we define this? Let's talk about first the gameplay. So let's uh, show down some ideas that we're gonna have. I want um, so the gameplay. Let me see how can I do this? the gameplay. Can vary from between different planets. So the gameplay vary between different planets. So you know we uh, we or between different planets or between uh, events like uh, traveling from one planet. Another, this is to get parity with the previous game, you know. Like when we, we there's a point and click phase, there's the okay, let me read it down point and click, click mode, uh, and then there was the, the battle mode, there was also like a, some kind of shoot them up mode. But I don't want to, um, to really say size scrolling shoot them up for space. Maybe we can. Should we? Let's just uh, define the. Make this the, the space mode. Space mode and could be shoot them up. So, the, okay. And point click mode is like exploration mode. Yeah, let's do it like this. That way I don't define what the gameplay is going to be. But I just suggest by putting in parentheses point and click RPG battle RPG star battle GRPG star battle, right? This might change, you know, because uh, we're making a different game now, we have uh, more options. Exploration, I was thinking actually uh, a little bit uh, make. Uh, not is yeah kind of like 3D exploration. I'm just putting it as a suggestion, but I really want to do this thing as a 3D game, not like 3D modeling, but uh, with some perspective. That way we can go left, right, up, down, everything. Space mode. What else do we have? Ah, dungeon mode, dungeon crawling mode. Okay. Maybe I can come up with some more later. Uh, so the idea is that 
Um, let's think about the goal of the game, really. I mean, uh, goal of the game. So the Wookie is uh, exploring space, exploring space, uh, trying to. Okay, well, let's just explore. Explore is like uh, more like what you do. It's not really a goal, right? No, let's just put it. Explore space. Um, search Yukim. So the story is that uh, uh, Yukim, she, she went into space and then uh, the bookie is kind of looking for her. Um, maybe we're gonna have a bad, bad guy uh, that chase uh, the bookie. I don't know, I can think about it later. Maybe not, let's not put it down. Uh, and then, uh, reach planet Earth. So uh, the goal of the whole crew is to reach planet Earth because they be, they're far away from it and they want to... Um, they, they, they want to go to back to Earth because the grandma of one of the characters, uh, she wants to go back to Earth and she doesn't have much la time left to live, so they're carrying Maybe I should write that down. Story element. All right, this is just gonna be like uh, not requirements, but maybe uh, brainstorming. <laughs> there you go. Because <laughs> I'm really putting whatever, you know. Some of those ideas, you know, uh, I actually kind of thought about it for a while, so that's why they're a little bit clear in my mind. It's not like crazy idea right now. Story elements. We have uh, the. Uh, you Kim. Um, so first, we have Dokbuki and You Kim living close by on. Uh, what's that first planet? I forgot what's the name. There's wait. There's Solaris. There's Ud Udon. What's the first planet where we uh, start? On uh, first planet, wait, what's the name of that planet? Desoris, no, me, Metro, something Metro, uh, Metro Zen. Oh, there you go. Then, uh, society has evolved, has progressed. Prospered. Society has prospered and uh, everything is free. <laughs> okay, that's only on that planet and uh, the, the the solar system. When they come out, it might not be the same um, thing. But let me see. Only that solar system. So, Dubuki uh, got a job working with Surge in Lupo. But uh, Yukim wants to explore the world, so she leaves and writes a goodbye letter to Dubuki. So basically, you got Yukim who's going to go go fly out in space, and she leaves a note. Um, let's put this. Uh, this is like a secret uh, plot element, uh, but let's put it here anyway. I mean, there's gonna be spoilers <laughs> here because uh, you know I have some ideas, but yeah, uh, Yukim actually um, the reason she goes in space is like a more serious reason than just uh, ah yeah, actually. Received a letter from uh, her younger self, self, which drives, which uh, makes her want to go to space. So this is a strange situation because she receives a letter, uh, 
but from herself when she was young and she does not uh, remember having wrote, written that letter but there's like something like very serious in that letter that seems like make, tells her that she needs to go to, well actually I, I don't know the detail but I want I like the idea that you know she received a letter from someone and that makes her go to space and that that someone is actually her <laughs> who knows okay um, the book he uh, in is distressed he wants to be with her so he tries to uh, go to space so but he does not have a spaceship anymore but he no longer has a spaceship I guess because uh, the spaceship belong to uh, her right she yeah the species that he had last game. So therefore, uh, the Wookiee will uh, quit his job, and then that cause that cause Serge to be in trouble and get laid off. Mm. Poor Serge. Uh, the Wookiee finds a crew. Find a couple, uh, so he's gonna find two girls who are looking for a crew to go into space. So, uh, so yeah, she she he goes around and he finds there's like uh, two girls who are really wanting to go to space. Uh, the, the the girls. Mission is to bring one of the girls' grandma back to Earth because she has little time left to leave and she wants to see Earth again so yeah they put grandma in hibernation so they put her in hibernation you know and then uh, and once in a while you know she will wake up from hibernation uh, like not too long because uh, you know she just does not have much time to leave you know but uh, you know that's gonna be part of the story like they really go into space sometimes she wakes up hibernation and really the goal is really to get her to space to to earth uh, search okay so dobuki gets hired by the the crew and search shows up at the shows up at the crew and needs a job. So Serge is gonna try to uh, get a job, um, and I guess they, they try to uh, test him at cooking. <laughs> they test Serge at cooking. He's terrible, but the Wookiee feels sorry for him and convinces the crew to hire search anyway so search is gonna be part of our crew I don't know I actually I don't know even though uh, search is uh, like a very uh, smart ass character I like to have him in the crew he's gonna be like a little bit comic relief so yeah now we have our crew we have our crew now off to space Okay, and I haven't figured out uh, what happens next, but uh, I want like them to go to space, and I want also like maybe some, I want some bad guy, you know, to be after them or something, you know. Uh, we'll see, but I haven't really fleshed that out yet. So, uh, different kinds of planets. So, 
the idea of this game is that every time you know you have like little snippets of a uh, gameplay where you land on a planet and then you have to do some mission and it's gonna be like a whole game by itself whenever you land on a planet that's why this game is gonna be very epic because you're gonna have lots of different um, lots of different gameplay mixed together so the different kind of planet I wanted to make uh, the Uh, there's gonna be like the um, how you call it the overcrowded planet. So the planet is basically uh, okay. Um, those of creatures of one type, one type. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting, you know, like the whole planet, it's just like one giant mass of just like one creature clubbed. Uh, they are uh, clubbed against each other and they love it. <laughs> yeah, of course, you know, like you have a crowd, crowded planet like that, you know, something would have happened, you know, that they don't like, you know. If this happens to human, you know, there will be war trying to get rid of people because you don't want people like against each other so close like this. But those people, they love it, so that's why they don't mind that they are against each other. You know, it makes them difficult to move around, but they don't care. They they enjoy like the the touch. And then it's gonna be hard for the our crew to move around, but they will have like some kind of machine that kind of lets them like navigate through. You know, we'll see. Uh, okay, so what else? The the soup, the giant planet. So on this planet, things are gonna be so gigantic that, like you know, when you land on the planet, you're basically kind of a microbe on the planet. And then that basically things don't really make sense, you know, but uh, somehow um, the crew is the size of a micro. Mm. Oh, the um, I, I need to give uh, all the plants some names. Okay, the super. Okay, the. Burning. Light. Burning sun planet. Okay. The atmosphere. Okay. The planet is extremely bright. Bright. It is impossible to see anything. There are just like pockets of shadows that the crew can move between. I just have images like that, you know, like there's a uh, Basically, like so hot, it's kind of like uh, in Riddick, uh, the so, um, the Vin Diesel movie Riddick. There's uh, like this planet is uh, very sunny and it's very hot, and then you know you get burned if you stay outside. So I kind of imagine something like that. Yeah, like so bright you cannot see anything when you look outside, but you just see like some shadows. And you can go all the way to the shadows, you know. To that's how you can actually go between shadows and shadows. I don't know. I thought it would be interesting. The the Greek tragedy, you know, it might not make sense, but 
I imagine a planet where all um, planet filled with Greek columns. Greek columns, right? Every one have a tragic an expression. Special expression of Greek tragedy. I like giant planet, but I also have a I want play one planet where it's not that giant. So the medium giant planet. Now you're not a micro, but like the crew is the size of maybe um a bird maybe or like not the ant maybe or how can I say small bird mouse. Of a mouse, maybe? Yeah. Oh. Small bird. Okay. Maybe a planet where the, the crew is a giant, maybe? Oh, I, I know one planet. The flat earth planet. Haha! <laughs> Just planet is a giant disk. What else? Let's, uh, that's enough for the planets, okay? Let's go back to the gameplay. I feel I had more idea, you know, before when I was... Um... Okay, let's just try to go crazy with ideas now. I need some new ideas, not the ones that I just rehashed. Uh, what a planet. Planet. What can I do? Uh, gameplay, what kind of gameplay? Time travel, like in um, uh, what was the game? Uzi's or Big Dream? Uh, and Ghost planet. The crew is a ghost. Okay, so basically, the planet is on the different plane, physical plane as as the crew. So the crew appears as ghost yeah let's <laughs> play around with that a lot but let's get crazy you know i don't know like uh like global planet like i like the global, global planet let's think about gameplay ah uh, gameplay what kind of gameplay can i have what do you think about characters Things don't have to be planet, you know. They can go to an area that is not planet, but like um... ah, Dyson sphere. I should have a Dyson sphere somewhere. Dyson sphere. So for those of you who don't know how what a Dyson sphere is, is um basically uh, the um I don't know how to explain. Okay, just research it. Uh, okay, I, I think I can have some idea even 
uh, more crazy so like uh, aim on a 1d plane so instead of a 3d plane 1d plane maybe uh, or 4d plane One D that would be ugly to play, but no, actually I'll just make it conceptually one D. It's not gonna be one D, but they, they would be oh, it could be interesting. Maybe a planet of robots. It has to be like something like so it has to be something like not just like I don't want something stereotypical, so you know what would be a plant of robots? How would it? How would be the gameplay? Um, like maybe. Um, so on the planet of robots, uh, composed entirely of cubes. I'm just throwing out ideas. You know, maybe you can do something with it. Maybe not. I don't know. I like the idea of a food food planet. So the the purpose of this planet is entirely uh, I don't know. I, I had some idea in mind before but I don't remember what it was. Um, all you do there is eat. But I don't want like August, uh, that's you know the first thing when you think like a food planet is like everybody is fat. No, no, I don't want it to be like that because it's it's an environment where it's like the purpose is just to eat for pleasure and then uh, of course there's going to be um, some methods like something that that uh, keeps everybody healthy you know so but everyone is healthy and normal size and I mean there's gonna be something about this planet you know like uh, the planet oh, food. maybe there's gonna be like different planets you know go for, go for the the purpose of people there is to just experience different variety of food. The kicker about this planet is that you know all okay, all food is like a process or like yeah processed but it's Technology allows to produce meat of any kind, including <laughs> the bookie meat. So it's gonna be like very uh, interesting. Uh, because <laughs> at some point, you know, maybe one of the crew members they really think oh I want to, I'm wondering how the bookie tastes like you know and they, they gotta actually try it because it doesn't actually hurt the bookie it's just like they take a, maybe a sample of his DNA and then manage to create meat out of him or they could even pick a sample of a human and then create meat out of humans so basically you you can uh, it's a uh, it's a little bit uh, disgusting idea but <laughs> I think it's, it could be like strangely fun um, I think each planet, I mean, this, there must be like some things, you know, like the planet is a certain way, but there's gotta be some purpose. Uh, there's gotta be like some, some way of living that people are really used to because there must be reasons, right? 
Let's see, what do we do here on this Earth, you know? Maybe a planet, a televised planet, TV planet. Everyone is... Uh, uh, building a show or something. Oh, there's one thing I really wanted. Um, dance planet. Everything on the planet is moving to the rhythm to one gigantic sound beat. So basically, the planet itself generates some beats and then like music comes out of it. And basically, the whole gameplay from on that planet, like you're gonna see everything dancing. It's gonna be very awesome. But constantly, you know. Okay, I think that's uh, good for brainstorming. You know, uh, this was supposed to be like uh, some kind of requirements document, uh, but it kind of degenerated into just brainstorming. I think this is good. How many pages do we have? One, two, two pages, uh, one page and a half. Okay, well, it's not a lot, but uh, that that will do for now. I will see you next time, and we we'll work uh, we we'll work more on the the, the bookies epic story. Ciao.